Okay, so I come across this clip today of a body language expert that was analyzing Amber Heard and so forth, uh, you know, the Johnny Depp trial, and they came on to um, analyzing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And it so confirms where I was going with my analysis too, because I looked early on and I noticed like, you know, remember this photo when I just got engaged and she was looking adoringly at uh, Harry and she was sort of laughing and it's like, you sort of knew that it wasn't genuine. Like sh this affection was like fake, you know, cause she was laughing when she was doing it. It's like, you know, he was sort of playful, but the underlying message was, you know, I'm just faking this affection, this adoring, adoringness again uh, towards uh, Prince Harry here. And then it sort of progressed when she was pregnant. You can see the hand is on top of Harry, so sort of domineering. And then uh, it culminated with the uh, time <laughs> cover where she was literally wearing the pants. So uh, it confirms this this interview confirmed uh, what I was thinking to start with that um, it's not genuine. I just don't think the relationship's that genuine. And Harry Harry thinks it is, but uh, Meg is just using Harry to to basically just um, get her, get her causes across. She's using Harry as a platform high-profile platform, and uh, let's have a look. I want to just ask you about Meghan, because we saw some very public uh, displays of effect, PDAs, as the young ones love to call them. Oh, what do we think about Meghan? Um, well, first of all, when I get a pair of scissors, I'm taking that piece of hair off um, that hangs <laughs> down the front so often it drives me berserk. Drives us berserk too, I can assure you. <laughs> but when she's on stage, I don't know what she was doing there at the Invictus Games, but when she's on stage, she's so confident as a performer turning... You hear that? Performer. It's all a performance. Very calculated. If you know everything about Megan is very, very calculated. She must spend her entire waking being calculating to the absolute detail what she wants to do. And it usually fails, but, you know, it's very well calculated like this the kiss however she has all the rhetoric but none of the body oh, language of someone who is actually affectionate so when he walked up you yeah. would think that you would lean forward and put your arms in the cuddle instead she put her hands That's flat right. on his chest and stood bolt upright he then kissed her she pushed him away and then moved she has all the affection of a an alley cat <laughs> That means not much? No. Or not, much. not much. OK, all not right. Much. Well, well maybe she was perfection. just like on, on show and on the stage and thought, oh, I, I better not kiss him on stage. And she's thinking, no, nah, bullshit, no. Nah. Do you no? think? Do you no. think? <laughs> you would think the act <laughs> would show maybe she some had a affection. Maybe she had a smudgy lippy on and wasn't going to commit. <laughs> Louise, lovely to see interesting, you as always. Interesting uh, take, though. Really? Interesting uh, take. Mm. Megan, Megan. Those old, <laughs> Megan, Megan. Those old alley cats, eh? <laughs> yeah, the old alley cat. So what do you think? I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. She sort of was pushing, like, you know, like, you stay there, you know, I'm in control. It's just, it's not genuine affection. From what I, from where I'm sitting, you know, I just, I, I'm good at looking, you know, stepping back and looking at the whole situation. And for me, it doesn't seem genuine. It just seems so calculated and fake. And she sort of reeled him in. Typical sociopath behavior, charming, reel them in, control them, uh, cut cut Harry off from the family, uh, any social contact. That's just a classic, classic control mechanism. You know, you you, you look at all these abusive relationships. You know, if you just flip it around to the women, if if a if a guy was doing that to a woman, you know, cutting her off from the family, friends, turning him against the family. There'd be no question. Everyone would call him controlling. Because a woman's doing it, she gets away with it. It's ridiculous. It's the same pattern. If Just put tra change it around your head that if, if a man took the woman out of the country, took her to another place, cut her off from the family, made all excuses why not to see them, I'm telling you, very, very manipulated woman. And um, family has said it. Uh, Thomas Markle Jr. said it in Big Brother. I think the video might still be up. I'll leave a link if it's still up. Um, he said he's just, you know, just using using Harry. So 
listen to the family they know her all right guys so leave your comments below what do you think to me i think the whole relationship's fake uh she got pregnant way too soon she just wanted to lock him in just in case he got wise that's what that's my theory had to lock him lock him in and uh got a meal ticket you know harry's going to get inheritance when he turns 40 and then things might change we'll see we'll see if uh meg might uh, sort of think mm, got a bit of money now don't need him anymore let's skip we'll see we'll see what happens but um yeah it might not last we'll see all right guys uh, don't forget to like subscribe share leave your comments below and i'll see you next time cheers